So I haven't done a make video in a while, so I thought I would show because I do have a lot of new stuff. There might be some things that you might have seen before, um, like the winter stuff. I didn't make it to the fall and winter craft sale, so I still have some stuff left. So at any rate, I'll start with the purses. This is a very simple, I call it the V-shaped purse. Um, I done a tutorial on actually this purse right here and I kind of sort of did a tutorial on this but if you see anything here that you want me to do a tutorial on just ask I'll be happy to do that this has lining and I'm going hopefully soon to get some materials to do um, a tutorial on how to do lining of purses this is um, I did two or three of these I think um, this is uh, it's like a slouchy mesh hat. This is perfect for spring and summer if you like to keep your hair up or whatever. And uh, I actually have one for myself. I don't think it has fringe on it though. But at any rate, then I do a bunch of hats and I do a lot of baby stuff. I give to, I give for gifts at Christmas time. I donate to churches. I put things up like when they have a fundraiser for churches, like raffles, stuff like that, I do, I donate different stuff. Um, and I donate, sometimes I donate scars and hats for veterans. I donate to like um, ministries for pregnant women. Um, lots of baby stuff. And then I have, you know, the accessories. Uh, these are this is just a headband. It's not a head warmer, but these are, I mean, you can wear them as a headband. You don't have to wear them as an ear warmer, but these are for ear warmers headbands. And I use the fun fur teamed with regular yarn. And then, um, this one, I just love this. This is so soft. Oh my gosh. And it's just so pretty. This is just so pretty. So yeah, I'm hoping to get out to a craft fair soon and um, I've got some late summer early fall events that I'm hoping to do some scarves and then this is probably I love this yarn I wish that they, they sold it but I think this was discontinued so Lions brand if you would remake this this is I love 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 this fun fur and Bella, thank you so much. She sent me this beautiful yarn and this. So some of this is stuff that she, the like yarn that she sent me, uh, like this Bella sent me, this she sent me, this she sent me. And oh, and this she sent me. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that the pretty? It's so soft. And oh, I just love that. That's a baby blanket. And um, so, and um, I'm going to put a link to a channel that I won a $50 Amazon gift card, which I used some of it and then re-gifted it in a giveaway, the rest of the Amazon card. And this is the yarn that I got on Amazon with that gift card. And I got the pink and the purple. I got two packs of three. And anyway, so, and then it's fun fur. And I do these cute little party purses, little, little um, wrist purse. This is a messy bun hat with fun fur and regular yarn but sometimes you, you know you use it with your ponytail or a bun let's see and this is baby soft type of yarn and i just did a um a baby set and then this is the some really super soft chanel yarn i actually got this at dollar tree and it is so pleasingly soft this is some more yarn that Bella sent me. And I love, love, love this rose color. That is just the prettiest shade of pink. But it's rose. And it's just so pretty. So I used some beads accessories on that with a little button. And then I have some kitchen stuff left over that should probably go out in the fall. Whatever. And here's some. This is just like a spring poncho. That's actually mine. I just put it in here just to show the different. Uh, and I, I made this with some uh, fun fur and I just variegated yarn. It's nice and soft. It's like a medium soft, but it's just right. And some more really super soft Chanel yarn and some Lions brand fun fur. I got this um, Chanel yarn on Dollar Tree. I, you order online. I think you have to order like 12, but it's only like $1.25. And it's super nice quality 
Chanel yarn. I haven't seen this quality of Chanel yarn even in Walmart. It's so soft. I wish I could just put the softness into the phone, but I can't. <laughs> and so, anyway, so yeah, so um, I've got a bunch of different stuff I'm going to be making. I've just learned how to make that butterfly, and I may do a tutorial on that. I did it a little bit differently than um, what was shown in the tutorial and then I learned how to make it even a little bit easier than um, that one so I made another one and I think this one's easier to make um, than this one I mean it's not hard I'm not saying it's hard I'm just saying it's a little bit more takes more time that one the other one was quicker I think I guess is how I should say it that's not hard to make actually it's not hard to make at all um, so if you want to see a tutorial on that please let me know I want to get feedback from people. What would you like to see me do tutorial wise? Because I have no so many different things, right? Um, I have patterns of baby booties. I follow a tutorial on this one. Um, I, I, I have my own patterns though. These are the kimono booties. Aren't they cute? And uh, yeah. So anywho's, this is my current um, makes whatnot i don't have anything in progress right now because this was the, i do one thing at a time i don't like have multiple projects like do it get it done and then start another one and uh so yeah so this was the one i've been working on so yeah i'm gonna be taking a break and trying i've got a bunch of stuff to do and i also want to show you something else oh well actually i'm gonna show in this video but i did I've been re I've got to move some of the things I'm storing my yarn in because it's butterfly time, it's monarch waste station time. And so I've created I used my shoe thing that you hang over your door and I'm going to go get another one and hang it on my wall. And so that way I'm not have to bend over and get into shelves. So I'm going to hang everything up on the wall and I'm using the shoe thing, you know, shoe holders where you put your shoes in. And uh so yeah. Anyways, I've moving my stuff around to uh, use the things I've been storing them in for my monarchs because I've got to um, I take the eggs in and clean them and then um, I've got to protect them from predators wasps that kill the chrysalis and whatnot and so far the monarchs have only lit four eggs so that was much much down from last year oh my gosh I had so many eggs last year this time any rate, but I haven't checked my other milkweed, so there might be a bunch down there. Anywho, so tell me what you think. This is a easy, I think, I, I believe I did a tutorial on this fringe. I've done a tutorial on this ruffle. I think I've done a tutorial on this twist band. Yeah, I, I have. I have not done a tutorial on that. I just made that. I did discuss that I would, might do one. If So if anybody's interested on the tutorial, that's my design. Um, yeah, so I just made that up, and uh, I like that hard bottom like that so if you want to learn how to make that just let me know um i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to line the purses as soon as i get the material to do so and yeah so anything that you would like to learn i think i did this is my design it's super easy little purse to make any who's let me know let me know i've got a bunch of baby stuff to donate and um yeah, this is all I could fit here, though. Um, I have a few more items, but this is pretty pretty much it, my stock for now. And I'm working on trying to get a craft fair together. And uh, I've got a bunch of kitchen stuff that I'm going to be doing. That's my next project is kitchen items. And anyways, please let me know if you are interested. And let me know, do you have tutorials? I would like to know so I can view them, put them on my craft tutorial playlist, and the more you put people's stuff on playlists, more your stuff's on playlists, the more visibility you get. Yeah. So have a blessed one. Bye.